Well, State Line Robotics team is heading for the world stage for their robot pretty soon to compete with hundreds from across the entire globe. Our Jess Lipson spoke with a few of the team members and Jess, what's the secret to their success? Well, David, I don't want to give too much away, but at the end of the day, all the teammates echoed similar thoughts. Their passion for their work and the group effort is earning them a chance to compete on the world stage. Just the second robot that we've ever sent to Worlds and our first time running regional is just it's the coolest thing ever. Ian Schmidt and Stateline Robotics are headed to Houston, Texas. The competition lead and his teammates are taking on hundreds of teams at the first World Robotics Championships. First is for inspiration and recognition of science and technology. The last time Stateline Robotics qualified for the championships was 2018. Straight out there trying to make our robot as simple and efficient as possible and seeing our design being able to succeed and winning uh, awards for that as well is great. Sharing this incredible experience with my entire team makes me so happy and I'm so grateful that we were able to win and attend Worlds. Just being there and being able to watch my friends have so much fun and being able to take pictures of it all and see that what they made was successful, I think was amazing. 24 students make up the team. They'll be tasked with a few challenges for their robot, the bird, to complete. They hope to rise above the competition. We can either shoot them up into a speaker or we can drop them down into an amp to score points. And then at the end of the game, we can climb on top of a chain for additional points. The 2024 team has already made history in the program, which started in 2012. Whether they win or lose, what they learned along the way is what they'll take with them for the rest of their lives. Steam and robotics can be used in so many different ways. It's not just used as a way to win a competition, as we did this year, but also used to benefit real people in our community. I came into this club pretty much knowing nothing about it, and I'm leaving this club having a whole wealth of knowledge, knowing what I want to do in life, and having a career planned in front of me. We might be an organization, but above all, we are a group of people. We are doing something we love and sharing our experiences with the world. You can watch out that you can watch that world championship performance if you find the story on our website, mystateline.com. David. All right, Jess, thank you. Best of luck to them in their competition.